What's up everyone? We are on a very, very exciting journey today. Uh, a couple of places I'm gonna bring you to today. And uh, one is I'm actually at the, uh, on the path right beside the old, old, old Welland Canal. And uh, we're gonna pop down and I'm gonna show you this waterfall and this water uh, that's coming in from the old Welland Canal. There's a little totem pole that has some significance to the city and I want to show it to you. But uh, let's go check this uh, canal out. We're gonna pop down here. Hold on. trees here, God, these willow trees, which are obviously uh, kind of close to my heart. <laughs> willow trees, my daughter's name is Willow. What a beautiful place this is. We're in search of the totem pole. We are in search of the totem pole. So one of the other cool things about this uh, Centennial Gardens Park is there is the St. Catharines Disc Golf Club is part of this uh, uh, area and as you can see there are uh, T markers and you have to obviously get uh, your frisbee into one of the baskets there's one of the uh, holes right there you have to get your disc in that and there's uh, 18 holes 18 holes of frisbee golf right here at Centennial Gardens and uh, what a great way to uh, come and have some fun with the kids. Bring them out here, it's beautiful out here. love this place it's amazing it's so pretty and especially in the fall it's gonna be amazing with all the trees and the leaves changing color it's gonna be awesome come down and check it out Centennial Gardens right in the heart of St. Catharines so here's the other reason why you want to maybe come down to Centennial Gardens and have a look at this totem pole erected here in the, in the park in 1967. So the Centennial Gardens totem pole has been located in the gardens for 51 years. It was commissioned by the city of St. Catharines in 1966 for $6,800. The totem pole was shipped to the city via train and erected in 1967 for the centennial celebrations of the country. It was created by Doug Cranmer of the Namjis Nation. Doug was born in January of 1927 an internationally renowned carver, Doug remained a humble man calling himself just a doodler and a small time whittler. As with any natural product, the totem pole is starting to show its age, and the city is trying to determine what to do with this beautiful piece and have reached out to the residents of the city to garner some ideas. Totem poles are usually made from red cedar, a malleable wood generally found in the Pacific Northwest. At the top of the totem pole is Thunderbird, representing the omnipotence of the conqueror and the ruler of the skies. Next on the pole is Bear holding copper, symbolizing great power and authority. At the bottom is Raven. He is the creator and is known as the messenger of the sky and famous for being a mischievous glutton. We will see how this piece of St. Catherine's history plays out in the community. So make sure you go take a look. It's really quite impressive. There you have it. 
Centennial Gardens in the heart of St. Catharines. Come check it out. There's lots to see, lots to do. Come for a picnic, play some frisbee golf, walk along the, the old Welland Canal. And hey, it's always a pleasure to talk to you.